Okay, right here, Bea, right here. So you want to go right here. This is the plant that we're trying to get. So go really deep, deep, deep. Yeah, pop it up. Good job. And now you get your little hands and you grab it like that. No, 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 hold on. Two hands like this. Scoop it. You want to get all of its roots gently. Okay, where are we going to put them? In a uh, little pot? Or should yeah. we put them in the ground? <laughs> pot. Okay. Don't hurt him. Are you going to hold him? Look at Steve. <laughs> He's so stinking cute. Who do you have? That one's a tanker. That's Captain Marvel. <laughs> Carol Danvers, you're a, you're a chunker. So we have puppies. These are Great Pyrenees. And they are, what, two weeks old? Two weeks old on Monday. Oh, you're so sweet. Listen to that noise. I feel you, Diana. I feel you. <laughs> Diana's giving me the eyes. <laughs> so why Great Pyrenees puppies? We got Diana in August, right when we got here, a couple months after we got here. And we had, we had done a lot of research about gar livestock guardian dogs. And we wanted someone to protect our farm. We wanted a dog that we could trust with our kids. We wanted right. dogs that we didn't have to worry about any aggressive behavior. Right. We wanted good companions. Great Pyrenees fit the bill. Absolutely. They are a very docile breed, we read. Yep. Um, they're very loyal. Actually, besides the livestock guardian part, they're a lot like, like a golden retriever, right? Right. Yeah. They're very loyal. They're very... Um, they have a very calm temperament. But we wanted something that was also going to protect the animals. Yeah. And so we went with the gold, the Great Pyrenees. I got saw as this sunflower. <laughs> it's as big as you are. That's going to be a big one. Do you think you can grow as fast as a sunflower? And how? Is it going to be taller than you? Yeah. Definitely taller than me. You think it's going to get taller? Dad, look at my... Whoa. Go measure yourself on that one. Yeah, 
I think it's a little taller than you. <laughs> Definitely taller. We thought we wanted to breed puppies. We thought we wanted to try out the puppy thing. Um, but once we started looking for them, it kind of confirmed that in our minds because we had a hard time finding Great Pyrenees. Yeah. So fortunately, um, after we found Diana, we kind of felt right away that she needed a friend. And Finn, our beagle, he wasn't really doing the trick. Finn's kind of a grumpy old man. Yeah. He's always been a house dog. And we we call him the city dog. He's we... not quite sure what he feels about the country. And we brought this young puppy in here and she was, at that time she was about his size. Yeah. At, she was three months old, I think, when we got her. Yeah, and she was a ball of energy. Not so much right now, huh, sweet baby? <laughs> right now she's, I know exactly how she's feeling right now. <laughs> Except I only had one baby nursing. Right. I only have one baby nursing on me, and Not she eight. has eight. <laughs> Are you sick of them yet? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so a couple months after Diana, we got Clark. And he's our boy. He is a big lion puppy, I guess. He is so incredibly gentle. Yeah. He's I have been blown away. Okay, so we had done the research. We didn't really know kind of we were kind of guessing, right? Yeah. Like I had never been around Great Pyrenees. Ben had never been around Great Pyrenees. Um, so we kind of had to guess. And it's what we thought we wanted. And I have been so incredibly pleased with these dogs. They are both so incredibly gentle. Um, we're still working with Clark. Um, he's about 18 months. Yeah. Almost two? Oh yeah. no, he's probably, yeah, yeah, he's almost two now. Yeah. Hi, you want to say hi to him? Hi. Say hi, Clarky. Good oh, boy. So this is Clark. You can see he's a gentle giant. He loves Malia. He's going to come for a walk with us. He's going to be excited. Come on, boy. Yo, yo. Oh, Clarky. So you can see, he could use a little more leash training, but he's so gentle with Malia, he won't pull her too hard, and he stays with us. And so, he wants to wander, and he wants his girlfriend, obviously, <laughs> but um, he's just, they're just great dogs, and so we love having them. He's kind of like a big polar bear. Clark, sit. Sit, sit. Sit, good boy, good boy. Is he soft like a polar bear? Come here. Come here. Good boy. Let's go back. Incredibly gentle. We go for walks and hikes and they circle us. Yeah. It's funny because we'll say, you know, polar bear, there's a polar bear in the woods. They stay about, what would you say the distance? 50 yards away from us. They stay about 50 yards away and they'll circle us as we hike. And it's really cool. It just feels like they're like doing they're surveying the premises. So a, a Great Pyrenees um, protects not by force, but by their bark yeah. and their presence. Um, so these dogs do bark at night and they are not, I've heard, not great dogs to be in the city and I completely understand why. Yeah. Um, about sundown or just before they start barking. Barking hour. We call it barking hour. <laughs> um, they do bark a good amount of the beginning of the evening. Yeah, right. but that really keeps everything at bay, whether it be a deer that's trying to get in your garden or a predator that's trying to get to the chickens. Yeah, she um, is extremely aware. We had one incident where we had um, baby chicks up in the goat barn and they were blocked. Diana could not get to that barn um, and we lost them. Something got in and killed them. The next night, for the next two nights, Diana laid next to our other baby chicks down in the pasture. To it's like them. she knew. Yeah. She knew there was something going on and she couldn't get near them when they were up there. Right. 
but she knew that those other ones needed protection. So she has instinct to protect. There is inc incredible instinct. Um, that being said, when Malia gets on a roll down the hill on her bike and cries out, Diana is there in a second. She'll, she'll drop her nursing babies to go protect our baby. <laughs> <laughs> she is incredibly loving and careful and takes good care of our babies. So yeah. that is huge to me. I don't have to worry about it at all when Malia, our four-year-old, goes wandering down the road or down the driveway because Diana is always right there by her side. Yeah. So that's huge for us. When there's trumpet. And she's good with strangers. Um, I mean, she'll she'll make her presence known at first, but then when she knows that they're a kind person, yeah. she's gentle. She's very gentle. I don't worry about her with anybody who visits. I would say the one downside about Pyrenees at all is the wandering. Okay, yeah. So Clark right now is on a lead, on a run <laughs> because Clark has decided that his um, his area to patrol is bigger than our property. <laughs> Yeah. And a good way to put it. <laughs> our neighbor is, who um, puts out deer corn and is trying to get deer is not really happy that our dog scares the deer away. You know, you love getting those texts of just the trail cam pick of your dog. <laughs> yeah. So, and so I guess that's the downside too, is yeah. that we have tried to put him in fences. We have tried to put him in the electric fences. We've put him in metal fences yeah. and he jumps right over. They're so agile because he is really big and very agile and he doesn't want to be in that fence so he's going to get out of that fence and actually they did really well in fences for a long time and then a goat of course a goat taught him how to get out and so now whichever fence i put him in he just knows how to get out of so i guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a taller fence around a very large area and mm -hmm. that's just going to be a budget thing yep and then and then also we'll have to train him we're just, it's going to take a little more training. It's time. going to take more training time. But one thing to say about these Great Pyrenees, if you put the training time in when they're, I mean, this is probably true of any dog, but you put that training time in when they're puppies and learn those very key commands, they're, they're in your pocket. They will listen to you. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing with these dogs is that they know that you're in command and they'll listen to your commands. Yeah. And they're really smart. They're so smart. <laughs> they also don't that you can tell when they know what you want and she's just deciding whether she's going to listen it's like a teenager her. she's very much a teenager clarky too yeah wait so right now what we're doing is we are weighing them and we've been watching their weight now for the next last couple weeks they're all healed up their umbilical cords are all healed Stop and they're healthy me. they're starting to open their eyes a little just maybe. a little bit Who's that one? This one's Wanda. That's Wanda. You like Wanda, huh? She loves me. Who is this? This is Captain Marvel. It's Carol. Carol Danvers. Carol. Hey, Carol. Looks like a Carol. Uh, they're so sweet. They're only two weeks old. These um, are free to go home in at eight weeks. At eight weeks. So. Last time we kept them for a little longer. Um, they're really sweet and wonderful and um, it's good for them to stay with their mom. Yeah. Their mom trains them. We have them around chickens. Yeah, we train them around chickens and goats. And around and goats. Cows, yeah. cats. They don't so like they're cats. ready to go to a farm <laughs> yeah. when, we, when we pass them on. More like cats don't like them. So They, they love playing with cats. <laughs> cats this one don't was like one that them. mama took in the dirt because its claws are all dirty. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this all right, one's so should we weigh them? So we'll introduce them and weigh them. Steve. Three um, pounds. Three pound, one ounce. Oh, Steve. Three pound puppies. Okay, Steve. This is young Steve? It's young Steve, yes. Okay, so Mr. Steve. Steve. Two pounds, seven ounces. Um, should we, <laughs> do you want to weigh this? Who's, who do you have there? I have That's her favorite. Wanda. Wanda's her favorite. <laughs> Why do you like Wanda so much? She, she just, she, I put her in my arms and she just, when I do this, she just collapses. Oh. And she starts, Looking at me. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Let's see if she's bigger than Captain. Nope. 
Two pounds, 14 ounces. This Sorry. is a yellow. That's Natasha. Natasha's little. Natasha is uh, two pounds, 13 ounces. Never mind, she felt little. You want me to give you Natasha back? I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, who's pink? Pink is Pink's Pepper. Pe pepper. Oh, Pepper's a big girl. <laughs> oh, Pepper, look at her face. Pepper, You're dirty, Pepper. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Hmm. There's Pepper Pots. Ooh, do Shuri. Shuri. I, have, Shuri, I have to say that. That one right here. Well, I'm getting a puppy more. definitely does take a little bit of work training them, but these puppies, oh, I tell you, not. have been absolutely amazing. I told you to get Shuri. This one's green. Light green? Light green, yeah. yeah. Gamora. Oh, she's green. She's Gamora. Oh, you're so cute. She's sticking her tongue out. Yeah, they love Two sticking pounds, their tongue nine out. Two pounds, nine ounces. Do the... Get Shuri. I don't know if I'm sure. Shuri. Is that her? Yeah, that's Shuri. Are you sure? Her sure. eyes are open! I know, I saw. <gasps> her eyes are oh. a little blue. Okay. Yours are still closed. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Oh, I'm missing. Did we do T'Challa? No. no. This is him, Gray. Oh, T'Challa. See, he has his black face. Because he's oh. T'Challa. Oh, his eyes, are, his eyes are barely opening too. Yeah, the Black tiny. Panther. He is Black. the Black Panther. Oh, hello, handsome. Are you the Black Panther? He's small though, isn't he? See, he is she small. just when she gets a little bit more used to me, she yeah, just yeah. T'Challa is two pounds five ounces. Yeah, he's the smallest, even though he's we down gotta by like. to get you some milk, bro. Four. Get in there, dude. No, he has. He's always been the run. He's got a little black dot on his tail too. Yeah. Look at this one. Who's this? This one's that's chubby. yellow. That's that's not Natasha. Who's the biggest? Natasha and Pepper. The girls. These two girls. There's are the one biggest. that's three pounds. Oh yeah, you're right. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. <laughs> the strongest Avenger. <laughs> she's not an Avenger. She she's not in the Avengers. She's in the Avenger movies, homie. She saves the day. She's like the, the queen yeah, of all. Yeah, she defeats Thanos, man. So. Um, what we're also sit sitting in right here is um, we made like what do you call it a whelping whelping okay it's a new word for us whelping we've yeah. obviously never had puppies before some of some of you that have done this are know all these things yeah. but it's called whelping when a pup when a baby when a dog has puppies it's called whelping and so we set up this whelping box here it is outside um, we have been told and we have had great results with these puppies don't these dogs don't ever go inside right they're supposed to be born in a barn and raised in a barn raised in a barn raised around the animals um and so obviously their eyes aren't open yet they're not they're not ready to be with the animals right <laughs> but as they get bigger what we'll do and what we did with the last ones is um they live with chickens they they have time with all the animals um and they really learn with mom who teaches them <laughs> yeah so they how to protect it's cool right and yeah. so it was really fun as the other ones got older i think they were we had a couple of them that were older with the yeah, babies almost um, they were almost like 10 weeks i think yeah 10 or 12 even. yeah and they had a chicken that lived with them yeah. you could see in some of our earlier videos that the, the puppies had a chicken and that chicken was there like and they would like they messed with it one time and and mom barked at him and that was it yeah yeah. You're gonna need a really big bowl when they get bigger. They I get know. Or a really bigger, big. or a bigger scale. They'll get really big. <laughs> or maybe we might have to stop weighing them at some point. Yeah, I think the weighing we just weigh them to make sure they're growing. We should. And you should should we them. chart them like a math project? Should we do some graphing. We could. <laughs> the milk of cords all healed up. It's gone. That's where she pees. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the puppy anatomy lesson, Mabel. <laughs> really appreciate it. What do you like about your puppies? They're so tiny and cute. What have you learned about your puppies? Mm -hmm. They have these things. The Duplass? Yeah, I, I never knew that Great Panties had these. I've also learned that they don't open their eyes until they're a little bit older. I thought they opened their eyes. Two weeks about, huh? About two weeks. I you want her. Nine. I love you. 
A nursing mother. Oh, she says, I'm so tired. But it down seems like her color has lightened up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Clark had dark ears. Clark actually had an almost black eye. Diana was all white. All so white. she carries the all white trait. Oh, big yawn. Two, Clarky. You two little girls have the black and the all white trait. Isn't that funny that the girls match their mom? Yeah, and, she has, and the boys match the dad. But if you look closely, she does have a little bit of um, that light, light brown on her ears. Really, yeah, really Yeah, because if you look, you can see it. Right now, there. when we got Clark, Tiny he brown. was much more brown on his head. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you he see was these more, puppies, they look like they've got... He was more like this color, like darker right here-ish. Yeah. Around this area. Clark also had a black around eye. Eyes. He also, yeah, he had a black eye. He has one like black eye. Like this little guy? That little guy has... Like a, Steve. A, both black eyes. Yeah, he... Clark, he, he only had one. Yeah, he had one. Clark had one. This little Steve, he has two. You can kind of tell still. Yeah. Oh, look, Mom's here. Match. Yeah. If you look right here, it's like... <laughs> WWF. 